Next, let us take a look at the if statement. We can always expand and collapse this package explorer by clicking here. So to learn the if statement, let us do another example. Right click on the package, new class, and then over here, let us type example if. Select public static void main, click finish. We don't need these statements. Let us delete them. So imagine I have two numbers, two variables, integer x equal to 20 and integer y equal to 20. And if statement goes something like this. You read this as if x is less than y. This symbol is for less than. To see if the value of x is less than y. Then I want to print out SYSO control space print x is less than y. Let us write another if statement. If x is equal to y. The way you say equal is you have to say equal to equal to. If x is equal to equal to y. That means if the values of x and y are the same. x is equal to y. Let's check if x is greater than y. Now let us save this. You can either click here or you can press on control key and keep the control key pressed and then click on the S key. Control S. We'll save it or you can click on this particular save button. Now let us run this. Right click. Run as Java application. You will see that x is equal to y has been printed. The reason is x is 20 and y is 20. It will come and check if x is less than y. Well, x is not less than y because 20 and 20 are equal to each other then it will come and check if x is equal to equal to y if x is equal to equal to y yes both of them are equal then it will print x is equal to y it will also go and check if x is greater than y well x is not greater than y so it will not print this particular statement so you just learn the if statement but of course if you notice this is an inefficient way of writing a program the reason is it is checking if x is less than y, then it is checking if it is equal to y, then it is checking if it is greater than y. So it will run all these three statements. You can use an else statement to make it more efficient. Like this. You can say, if x is less than y, system x is less than y, else if x is equal to equal to y system row dot print line x is equal to y else if x is greater than y then system row dot print line x is greater than y now the advantage of this is of writing a statement like this is like it will come and check if x is less than y if it is less than y well it will print it out but in this case it is not less than y it will come here else if x is equal to equal to y so since it has matched the condition it will print this and it will come out of it it will not go check else statement because only if this fails it will go to the next else statement so you are saving that fraction of a second for the compiler so let us save and run this so you can see that you get the same answer but then the compiler did not check this particular condition and for the last condition, you really don't have to use this if statement. You can simply say like else system route dot print line x must be greater than y. The reason is, so here you can see if x is less than y, else if x is equal to equal to y print this, else, well, I am sure if it is not less than y and if it is not equal to y, it should be greater than y. Save and run this. You will get the same answer. As a new Java programmer, one of the most confusing things is the small issues like when to put the semicolon, when not to put the semicolon, when to use this curly braces and when not to use the curly braces, etc. Remember, these things you will know by experience. But for a general rule, any complete statement will bend to the semicolon. For example, you see that int x equal to 20 is a complete statement. Whereas the if statement is not a complete statement. I'm checking there is going to be some kind of a code. If x is less than y, I want to do something else. So I will not end this with a semicolon. 
this is like some kind of a main method so I cannot end this with a semicolon same way whenever you open a curly brace you must make sure that you close that particular curly brace these are called curly braces you can always check if a curly brace is closed by clicking on a curly brace and you will see a small square box here on top of the one which is open same way if I click on this I will see a square box here so that you can make sure that every open curly brace is closed same thing goes for if I click on a curly brace over here the closing curly brace is shown and these are called parentheses you will get more used to these syntaxes as and when we go on this system.out.print line is a statement on its own this less than symbol here is called a relational operator these are relational operators you may be wondering what are the other relational operators well there are a few other relational operators 2 equal to signs is equal to an exclamation mark and equal to sign is not equal to this is the greater than less than sign this is greater than or equal to and less than or equal to these are used to check if x is greater than or equal to y 